Hey, what's going on guys? So in part one of the video, we learn some of the basic stuff like how to install Excel Wings library as well as uh, doing some basic data entry and read data. Uh, for this video, I want to show you how we can write a function in Python, but using Excel to code a function. Before we can call a Python function from Excel, we need to install Excel Wings adding first. And here, um, I'll post the link in the description below. But basically, you need to come to this GitHub uh, depository. And so this uh, this company, Zuma Analytics, they create the library, and they also provide uh, the documentation and the source file. So come down to this uh, this link, and scroll down. Look for the Excel Wings version that you download. And so here, let me, so if we do a pipe install, not pipe, if we do a pipe list, and we can see that uh, for my version, I'm using 15.4. So that'll be the, the adding file that I'll be downloading. So download this file uh, to the same folder uh, as your uh, Python script. So here I already uh, download this Excel win the XLM file, which is the Excel adding file. And here, let me, whoops. And you want to move the DLL file uh, as the same folder as the Python interpret file. So remember when we download the, the library, it also comes, it also came with this two uh, DLL file. So you want to make sure that depending on which Excel uh, version you're using, you want to make sure the DLL file uh, is in the same directory as the uh, Python interpret file, which is the python.exe file right here. And once you've done that, so let's open uh, Excel file. And you want to come down to developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab um, active, you want to go down to file and go to options. And you want to click on customize ribbon. And make sure that your uh, developer tab right here uh, is checked. And once you activate your developer tab, so you want to click on Excel Addings. And you want to browse the uh, the adding file. And here, so I make I make things easy. So I basically just move the, uh, the Excel adding file to my adding folder. And click on OK to add the adding file to your, uh, to your adding list. Now, uh, let me activate my Excel wing adding. So once you've done that, you should have the Excel adding tab uh, available to you. So here we have a couple things. If you are using a virtual environment, and I think right now by default, uh, Excel wing is uh, intelligent enough that it recognizes if you're using a virtual environment or if you, or if you're using uh, the non-virtual environment. So. These days, you don't even need to provide the interpret uh, file path anymore. Now to code the Python function from Excel, so here we need to open our VBA window. And here, uh, before we can use the run Python uh, function, we need to come out to tools, references, make sure the Excel wings reference is added to your available references list and click on OK. And once you've done that, so you should be able, you should see the the references uh, directory uh, shows up, and that just means that now you are able to reference all the functions and modules uh, from the adding file. And here, open your uh, Python editor. So here, I already create a, a simple hello function, and uh, and the name of the script is called hello.py. And within this function, I have a say hello uh, function. So the function, what the function is doing is basically on, on my active workbook, and which is this workbook right here, which contains the uh, the macro. Let me go back. And on the data sheet, which is this worksheet right here, the data worksheet, and in cell reference A1, I want to enter the value hello world. And that's what the function is doing. And make sure within your Python script, you also import the, the Excel Win library. Now let's go back to the Excel VBA window. So here to call the Python function, 
you want to use the, the function called run Python. And here we want to import the module. So the module name is your uh, Python file, file name and we are the extension name. So here's where you call the function. So hello dot say hello. And so the hello, the, uh, the script name is actually optional, but I like to have uh, the, the script name just, just in case if I need to come back and reference uh, the, the script and it's easier for me to figure out which file uh, am I using to run the, uh, the function. Now let's go ahead and run the on this function right here. So if I go to view tab and macros, so here's my macro code Python function. If I run this, now uh, the Phoebe basically filed the run Python uh, function, and the function will basically look at this hello.py script and look for this function called say hello and and run this two lines of code right here. And here's our uh, value, hello world. Now let's say we want to create a function. So that was a, a, a script. And we want to create a function that we can use, kind of like Excel function. But we'll write the function in Python. And to do that. And here, uh, so I have a, I have a, uh, I already wrote a script called my UDF. So uh, the short term for my user defined function. To create a function uh, in Python, so we want to use the uh, use something called decorator. The Excel wings decorator name is called uh, at this the at symbol xw.func and followed by uh, the function. So here I create a, fun a very simple function called hello and with a parameter uh, name. So basically I want to return uh, the text hello plus the, the input value. And once you create the, the function in Python, so you want to uh, come up to the Excel wing and you want to basically type the, the, uh, the Python script name, well, the extension name, and you want to click on import functions. And nothing's going to show up. So that means that you're able to successfully import the function. Now, if we go ahead and uh, give the function a try and hello, and my name is uh, J. Oops. Oh, it should be a uh, double quotation because, because when you excel. So before I conclude this video, and this one more thing I want to show you guys is, uh, if you are someone who writes, who knows VBA pretty well, and for some reason you need to debug the, the adding file. So you need to go to the VBA code and look and look to see, you know, uh, where, in the, where in the editing file that uh, the code is not working properly. So here, if you double click, it's going to ask you for uh, the password. And the password is lowercase xlwings. So xlwings, and that's the password. And that basically gives you the source code of the, uh, of the editing file. All right, guys, so this is everything I'm going to cover in this video. And I hope you guys found this video useful. If you have any question or any feedback, please leave them in the uh, comment section below. And if you found my video helpful, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.